Brenda, let's talk about these. They're important to know, as you said, we st different stressors as we age. So let's talk about co-occurring conditions, things that probably keep coming up again, whether they be medical or stressors in life, correct? Yep, absolutely. It's important to look at not only the mental health mm -hmm. stressors in life, but also the, the medical. Because they, you know, we're not just mental health people or, or medical. They really combine for people yes. to add stressors. And also the financial impact for people. Those are stressors in life, you know. And those are gonna, they kind of come and go. But mm -hmm. as we age, our coping tends to go down a little bit right. with those things. Uh, one of the things I've learned um, hosting the Health Channel is a lot of these medical conditions, when patients are diagnosed can often lead to depression, can often Absolutely. make yeah. a patient spiral because it's maybe something new to handle in life. So I imagine mm -hmm. that's that's something that you see as you well. Know, our brains are marvelous animals or, or, or organs, if you will, and yet they can only take so much. Mm -hmm. So, you know, looking at those endorphins and stuff and how does you get a diagnosis and then all of a sudden your world gets smaller. Right. All of a sudden that I might not be working yes. or I might not be as active in my social community or I might not be able to walk and go to the zoo with my kids or grandkids right. or whatever. And so it, it can be really hard on folks as, as they age. And we all want to feel good. You right. know, whether we're 18 or 30 or 50 or 80, or it doesn't 80 matter. we want to feel good. Right. And the comfort of alcohol, the comfort of benzos, the comfort of opiates can be really soothing for folks.